How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Top Plus sent me this roll of wire to review. When I look closer, it actually have a whole bunch of little LEDs attached to the copper wire. The copper wire actually have this enamel around it so they can actually run three copper wires together and they won't short out. This is actually quite bright. I have to turn down the exposure in the camera just so that you can see the little dots everywhere. I wanna see how much power it's using so I just press watt right here. It says 5.6 watts. Now this is a USB plug, see? USB is five volts, which means this thing is consuming 1.1 amps. I have this cheapy USB thing right here that supplies only half an amp. So let's plug that in and see what happens to the brightness of this if I switch it. Hopefully you can see that this thing is not as bright now. It says it's consuming two watts. At five volt, that means it's consuming about 400 milliamps or 0.4 amps. Likely this power plug might not like it too much because it may be overloaded. And so it's probably not recommended to use anything less than one amp uh, as a USB plug. This thing doesn't come with the AC adapter as is. So you have to find one laying around or you gotta plug it into your computer possibly. Interestingly, I was actually looking for a string of Christmas lights or something to hang in the shelf back here. It's great, Top Plus kinda read my mind and just kinda sent me this and I'm just gonna hang it over here in the shelf back there. So back here is the background of most of my videos. This is my shelf over here with a bunch of Legos. The Lego Porsche that I put together a while ago. There's a quadcopter over there and there's a diamond play button that I made in another video and a bunch of other stuff. Now this appears to be magnet wire so I wouldn't go around flexing it a lot because it's just gonna break. Um, I don't think it has that many cycles to it, so be very careful with it uh, when you unwind. I, and I really hope this company that makes it, they're not actually manually doing it because if they have to solder in each one of these LEDs manually, I, I, I don't know, I think, I think that might be kind of crazy. I hope it's an automatic process. So I actually didn't know this stuff existed. I thought usually if you have a bunch of lights like this, it would be in the form of like Christmas lights, kind of like that. It will never be this thin. So the fact that it's this thin is pretty neat to me. As I'm holding it, it's getting a little bit warm, but nowhere as warm as Christmas lights would be. Carefully unwinding this. Okay, I finally got it fully unwind. You'll notice I'm actually handling this thing even though it's turned on because I know if you put 5 volts through it, it won't really electrocute me because it's not very high voltage. And so you can actually do this safely. I gotta figure out how to use this whole line. There's 33 feet, so let me just do it and not worry about how to do it exactly. I guess I'll just tape it down. I'm just using scotch tape over here. If I go above the cabinet, you can't really see the light, so I gotta... Make sure I come back below. It's nice that I can just use tape to secure all this, but the thing I don't like about tape is if you leave it on too much, it gets kind of gooey. Uh, but, you know, I'll deal with it when I have to take it off. Now I see how these things are wired. There's three wires going through there, so it's either two parallel rows or one giant parallel row. So if you ever have one of these light go off, the whole thing is not gonna go off. Just single light will go off. So you can have, you know, just one break but the rest will be fine. And so in that case, this thing can last a quite a long time. Although LEDs, the longer you use them, the dimmer they get. Hey, look at that. That's pretty nice. I actually like it. I like it in that if I put Christmas lights there, those wires would be way too thick and you can actually see them. You can see if you look over there, the wires are thin enough that they look almost invisible and uh, they blend right in, it seems. Now another thing you can do with this is kind of stick them on the ceiling and you just try to vary the distance of those lights and then you can make them look like stars or something. Anyway, this thing is called Top Plus Wire Lights. There's a hundred of them, it's 33 feet long. I'll leave a link down below in the video description if you're interested in getting one for yourself. Don't forget to give me a like over here, comment down below, let me know what you think of my new background. And don't forget to subscribe over here. Thanks for watching.